Brent, question about 128 gigabyte memory limit for standard edition. If I set max memory to 228 gigs of RAM, he's got, he's got 256 in the box, instead of being using just 128, he wants to use 228, he says, will SQL Server use the additional 100 gigabytes for basically anything other than the buffer pool? Is that a correct assumption? So the thing is, Microsoft has never really documented exactly what will happen above standard edition's memory limits. There are sessions out there from different people who run experiments on it, um, and they can tell you what it was like at one point in time. But the problem with stuff like 128 gig memory limits is that can change what the behavior above and beyond the 128 can change at any given time. Microsoft can fix the bug, so to speak, in the office uh, space TV jokes, uh, fix the bug. And then suddenly the behavior over 128 can change. Um, what I can tell you is, is that I have seen people have success with column store index usage, not buffer pool, but like create and recreate indexes uh, above 128 gigs. But if you find yourself reliably needing more than 128 gigs of RAM for specific scenarios, that's when really you have to start stepping up to Enterprise Edition. Otherwise, every time you apply an update, I'm just really worried about what's going to happen to you, especially as you change from uh, version to version.